hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you to everybody who subscribed to my channel today's video is about the people behind me i'm joking today's video is about my modeling experience my modeling journey how i came about being a pageant model how i actually achieved these titles behind me i think i have about um two four six eleven titles that's back this is a bit back but yeah Let's go. A bit of distraction outside because my neighbors are making a noise. But I hope you guys won't hear. I hope I'll be audible enough. I guess you guys know why I want all these titles because <laughs> a pink ting like me deserves to be crowned the queen. I'm joking guys but anyway that's the whole purpose of modeling and pageants is not really about beauty although it's a beauty pageant but it's not about beauty i don't know if i'm making sense but yeah my very first pageant that i entered was in 2014 um miss rand yeah miss rand i used to school at rand girls i entered miss rand girls and unfortunately i didn't place i remember i even had braces being a movie there was just a lot going on but um, I didn't place and then I decided to try again the following year when I was doing grade 9 and guess what ta -ta -ta -ta. I placed I placed first princess I won't even lie it was nerve-wracking because I had entered with someone I won't mention her name <laughs> but she knows herself I entered a pageant. No, no, no. I entered with someone who had like more experience with pageants. She was a beauty queen, guys. She had more experience than me. So obviously it was so much pressure for me. And I wasn't too confident. I was intimidated at some point. But I was like, ah, you know what? Let me just let me just give it my all and try. So she placed queen. Obviously, she placed queen and I placed first princess. Although they were not um any questions asked like it was just um a, 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 what you call this a stage presence type of thing that we were mark based on how we were dressed you know sportswear and yeah um, after miss wrangles i decided to give it a try again because i wouldn't even lie i had so much hope i had so much faith although although there was this one person who, I, who was against me guys was this one person she was my biggest hater but you know what's so funny she's my biggest supporter right now which is my granny but that's not the case so in 2018 i decided to enter a pageant um uh, michelle i mentioned it in my first video i decided to enter michelle and i made it i made it oh my gosh so let me just speak on what actually happened on the day um Oh yeah okay so guys i won't even lie i didn't have support in lean i didn't receive any support in lean because i was just so scared of like revealing it to my granny like mama i entered a pageant like, i was just so scared guys because i already knew the response or yeah i don't know if i'm making sense but i already knew who's in so tall and so I, just, I decided to keep my mouth shut the only person who actually knew about this pageant was my cousin so they were at my practice every sunday i had to lie to her and tell her no i'm actually going to practice my mat with a friend blah 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 and she didn't really believe that story because she really wanted me back home at a certain time but yeah fast forward to the day of the pageant um i was intimidated once again and also i just want to say this guys if you enter a pageant don't look at other contestants say no she's gonna overpower me oh no she's so pretty she's gonna definitely win guys focus on yourself focus on yourself please because that's the only thing that literally matters so cool on the day of the final we got there and obviously it was my i'd say i'd like to say it was my first pageant because there was a Q and A section. Section. There was a Q and A segment. <laughs> but yeah, so we had the evening wear. Um, black and white. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. I'll display pictures if I still have. Then cool. 
we did our whole thing and blah 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 now it's time to actually announce the top 10 guys i won't even lie i was so nervous i was nervous i told my friends guys i'm not gonna make it i'm so sorry you guys wasted your time for coming over here to support me and i feel like i've failed like i've i don't know like not even failed but i feel like i've disappointed you guys because i know i'm definitely not gonna place guys there was so much competition there and then they called out the top 10 and i was in i was in i was so happy but i was so nervous at the same time and then we had to walk again for the judges to choose top five and guess what oh, i made it again i made it to top five no i'm lying what happened that day no 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 there was top 10 we all answered questions yes we all answered questions before they actually announced the top five that's top 10 i remember the other contestants were actually getting like easy questions about what are the three qualities of a queen in my head i'm like why wasn't that question for me like hello why wasn't i supposed to get that question i was so nervous guys i don't even lie but it got to me and my question was <laughs> hey yo um if i remember well my question was if we had to take you to an international pageant how would you represent south africa huh? i is not make sure <laughs> it's not make sure but i managed to answer because why i placed i placed guys i placed so i'd say this this was actually the first title i've ever gotten achieved miss shawela 2018 i won but like before they actually announced let me tell you guys what happened so they called the top five i made it to top five so i there was this one girl because i wouldn't even like she's such a good speaker she's outspoken the way she even answered a question i am mm -mm. I'm just going to be a princess here. I'm definitely not going to be a queen. So they called the second runner up. They called the first runner up. In my head, I'm like, ah, ah. Now, Sixthly, who? Me and this girl. I'm like, nah, I didn't place. Like, this thing is Jalila Kana I didn't place. And it's cool. This title is not mine. You know? Gandhi! God was like, eh. I was announced queen. I was announced Miss Charlotte 2018. And I went live. I was so emotional. I became so emotional. Oh my gosh. Like in the feel. I literally cried, guys. And oh yeah, before before the, the, the thingy. The final. Before the final, um, there was a point where we had to ask the public to vote for their favorite contestants. And ta-da! I won <laughs> like literally I won Miss popularity guys I won like being tan Russian like I really won and I was so happy but like there was there was this certain girl who was leading and I shame I had given up but my people were pushing I mean people on Facebook were pushing they're like nah but you are getting this title so I got these two titles I got these two titles and the crown. Is this the crown? I think so. Also, guys, you know, life is just so funny. So, after, after I won, by the way, my aunt came to support me. Because one of them bad at me. She's like, dude, you entered Miss Soweto. You entered Miss Soweto. I'm like, no, I didn't. How did you guys see? I didn't enter Miss Soweto. She's like, dude, I, I literally saw your picture on Facebook. People are asking for votes, you know. And that's how I actually came across your picture. And when I was still in support, I'm like, yo, I was so scared. I don't even lie. I was scared also at the fact that Uma man doesn't want me to, to enter into pageants because i'm so sorry for the distraction because i was really just so scared and my aunt was like no dude you're you're good then you're scholar so it's fine you have also full support just let us know when the pageant is we'll come and support you and she didn't lie guys both my aunts were there they supported me i came back home i won i literally had to walk from i'm about to expose my okay but it's fine i, I literally had to walk from ekrin church from snawane and back home and everybody was just everybody was cheering for me like congratulations ah, you know i'm just so happy guys i don't even lie 
that moment was beautiful i came back home i remember my granny was sitting i came back home and everybody was just screaming and she looked she's like she's like oh michelle and i'm like yeah she's like oh I'm and then she hugged me and she's like oh, my i'm like really ma'am she's not talking to me like what do you mean because dude you never wanted me to enter pageant so i knew you were gonna be against me but she was so happy for me guys she looked she hugged me and she told me nah she's actually gonna allow me to enter pageants because i'm done with school and like hey man hey man oh, my <laughs> <laughs> that's about it also i just want to add on on how when the pageant entered i mean ended one of the judges actually came up to me and told me dude you have so much potential don't sleep on yourself you are the miss essay type so i'm really hoping this is not your last pageant just keep on entering pageant until you get not exposure but you gain experience and eventually please just go for miss essay because dude you are so beautiful guys it's not about beauty but he said i'm the miss essay type so that actually pushed me motivated me into entering more and more pageants and then the following year in 2019 i decided to enter no 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 i decided to be part of a modeling school because i didn't really have a mentor but someone was just helping me with with, with my postures and with my stage presence and whatnot i decided to enter a modeling school where i got training and yeah we were moving it's not touch ups i wasn't bad but we were moving it's never like not touch up and then my coach told me to enter this pageant and i remember it was me and this guy Tukelo. Tukelo is a pageant king by the way damn but anyway yeah we entered miss fashion district so we had to go for auditions first yay it was so packed guys i remember the auditions were in jersey i remember the name of i forgot the name of the place but the auditions were in jersey guys there was so much competition and everybody came up to me on some your breasts like saba when i say two girl it seems like yeah when we and i'm just like guys like eyes not make sure but anyways we went ahead with the auditions and then i made it to the the the, the finals and then fast forward to the day of the finals there was a lot of us yeah there were males and females by the way and i think i was the, the oh, i'm lying i don't even remember what number I was 19 was it number 19 i'm not i'm not sure but we modeled we modeled we modeled into our different outfits and i won't lie on that day again i really saw one girl who was intimidating because i won't lie she guys she had the walk ah compared to mine also i want to say this guys please don't ever compare yourself to other people like when you enter a pageant don't look at other girls don't look at other girls and don't feel intimidated because you're going to lose focus and lose yourself within that whole process of yeah you get me I cool now it was time to announce the top 10 if i'm not mistaken it was top 10 or top 5 but i don't know i made it to top 10 once again by god's grace i don't know i'm just so lucky hey i made it to top 10 and then they announced the top 5 if i'm not mistaken and then what it was questions guys i can't even lie i'm not so confident like i'm not a confident speaker i wouldn't take a mic and be on some no 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 no, no, I'm shy, like I'm a very shy person, but I try, like at least things are cool. I wouldn't just like be quiet and not be able to answer the question, you know, but I'm not so confident. We got questioned and my question was, um, I don't really remember the question, but it was about video vixens. Like, how do I feel about I'm a video vixens? I don't know, something along those lines. And once again, I wasn't so confident when I was answering my question, but I could answer. Sharp. And then now it was time to un um, announce the top three. I already knew I was in the place because one thing about me when I enter a pageant, I don't get a big head. Like, I need to be in a kind of cool and be on some. No, because I placed the um, queen, I'm in a place again. I need to place, I need to win. Guys, don't ever enter a pageant with that mentality. Oh, you, 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 like so please don't do that to yourself i already told myself now nah, i'm gonna i'm not gonna win 
like i go there with a negative mindset but guys please don't listen to me but that's just me i go there with a negative mindset telling myself no i'm not gonna bag any title in this case but sharp they announced second runner up oh no 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 they announced second runner up first runner up ha once again six selling me and the other girl who had the best stage presence i was like uh uh-uh I'm not making it. I'm not making it. And then when they before they actually announced the queen, they asked, Who do you think Miss Fashion District is? And then people were saying, Mela. And I just have this tendency of like responding to the crowd and doing this. Like, mm-mm, mm-mm. And then yay! I was announced Miss Fashion District 2019. Gosh. God has always been on my side, hey? Like, God has always been on my side. I won Miss Fashion District 2019. And again, I won Miss Socialites. Miss Socialites, because I had received the most votes out of all the contestants. So, yeah. Once again, I bagged Miss Fashion District. Um, oh, yeah. This is the crown. I also got a crown and yeah I literally had four sashes okay I'll ha- I had five but Umis Ren didn't give us like a sash I had four sashes in a short period of time and I was so happy for myself I won't even lie my granny was literally happy she's like ah nah I can actually see that this thing is made for you Anyway, fast forward later in that year. I'm not sure about the month, but I remember Miss Fashion District was definitely around April. I decided to go for Miss Teen Soweto. And I won't lie, Benya Bi. Wining and Kuzang. Pageant girls, Wining and Kuzang. Anya Buzan Janil. Wining and Kuzang. But ugh, anyway, I went for Miss Soweto. Miss Teen Soweto guys i wouldn't even like the whole journey was amazing like it was actually a journey pageant where we met all the girls also there were auditions where you had to say your intro in front of millions and millions of people at jorik theater not jorik theater so it's a theater the one in chavlan mall and I, i made it through the finals so guys we would meet up every weekend on like I don't know was it on saturdays or sunday i'm not sure but we would meet up every weekend to do challenges like tasks and they would always eliminate one person they would always eliminate one person guys and obviously like we were we were nervous about that like who wants to go home got first round already who wants to go home hmm? i remember we did the challenge of we had to design our own sashes if i'm not mistaken that was the first challenge and then so after the the whole thingy towards the end you guys stand in a straight line they need to eliminate that one person and it just so happened that that day i got eliminated guys it was so bad with this one girl they're like Victor Miller please step forward I stepped forward they're like we are so sorry you have to go home and I said I wasn't sad yeah that I was sad but I didn't get emotional some people actually get emotional in my head I'm like girl it's just a pattern but it's cool we don't react to um certain things the same way so some people are just emotional i'm emotional too but i didn't get emotional in zbambi living with okale kai but in here our first challenge was actually us us creating our own sessions and guys i know this this looks bad but <laughs> yo damn so i have i decided to create this pisces sign because of my star sign i don't know why i did this i don't know it was just for justin j vibes and then okay the the letters are missing but it's written miss teen so it's all oh guys i don't know if this is visible oh my gosh but yeah and then confidence is key this was my motto we were actually allocated in, in groups i think i'm missing i'm mixing things up but like we were allocated in groups and then we just had to design our own sashes and my teammates and i decided to 
do this you know we all had the same writing but like you could put a crown you could put whatever you wanted on your sash and anyway you had to be creative not something formal or serious because it was a tea pageant anyway fast forward to oh it just so happened that i made it to the finals i didn't get eliminated and i was so happy also there was a point where we would appear on soweto tv like yeah i have us they were basically showing the whole journey on tv like on television and um yeah fast forward to the final i keep on saying fast forward to the final um ugh, there was just a lot going on anyway it's just so sad and unfortunate that i didn't make it to the top five and i was shook i was shook i was shocked like how the hell did i not make it to top five like make it make sense like make it make sense like guys i wouldn't even like my, my stage presence wasn't even bad but overall it's cool the whole miss teen service journey was ama amazing although i didn't make it but it's fine i guess everything happens for a reason enough about miss teen Soweto. so i decided to enter another pageant in 2020 no 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 the miss teen Soweto final was actually towards the end of the year if i'm not mistaken and then i heard of miss teen dobsonville and uh, honestly speaking i don't want to enter but someone told me not dude just go for it i wouldn't mention names but like someone told me not just go for it and also because of the 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 packages the, the packages but the winner like the winner the winner packages i don't know if that makes sense were amazing prices guys like the winner of miss teen dobsonville would get an automatic entry into miss teenager south africa and i was like wow let me just go for it See, you'll never know i entered miss teen dobsonville once again there were auditions there were like 80 eight zero guys eight like one two three four six seven eighty people there were literally 80 contestants we were all there for auditions and they were only taking top top 20 was it top 20 i'm not sure but once again i made it i made it by the way when i say interview you don't just get their model and then they choose you because yeah you are tall or you have a certain body structure or they like you for your physical appearance no sweetie it ain't about that it's about what what you say the interviews how you speak and what you say so i cool i make i made it to top 20 and it was a journey pageant as well i'd like to i'd like to believe it was a journey no it was a, a journey pageant and yeah it was a journey pageant okay so but we didn't have like tasks or challenges um they would just fix our walks and also prepare us for the finals they um our was she a mentor but the pageant organizer would like give us a platform to you know say our introductions and she would fix our mistakes and whatnot and whatnot, and whatnot. until i actually got to the last the, the the before the finals she told us she's going to ask us questions she's going to prepare us for the questions hey, yo i won't lie she was so intimidating oh my gosh she was so intimidating so you had to get there say your introduction and then she would ask you a question based on your intro yo and guys let me tell you something it's just so funny how the girls that i entered with in miss teen soweto were also go miss teen dobsonville and there were guys like yeah, yeah yeah some people are just great speakers they're outspoken and they have so much confidence and in my is bear i mean i'm on some girl you better do something about it because going down but okay cool fast forward to the, the final of the pageant and guess what my granny was there including my friends and my cousins yeah i just had uh yeah a great support system i don't know if that makes sense so cool i also received comments on that day on some nah when i was a winner Siazi, you've been bagging um title so you're definitely gonna win and i'm, I'm on some nah guys like i'm not gonna make it i know but sharp we walked we walked we walked and then fast forward to the questions part Yo! the people that i made it to top 10 with damn i had competition i won't lie 
I won't I had competition because you know you know this is how I actually measure my competition. It's not about what how you present yourself on stage off but oh no 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 it's it's more of how you speak. And I saw that mm -mm, I made it to top ten with these great speakers, so they are going to overpower me. They are literally going to overpower me. But yeah, question time. I was actually the second last contestant to be asked a question, and my question was, do you think beauty pageants are losing the the, the main focus of? Ah, wait, 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 wait. Do you think that beauty pageants are losing? The main purpose of something i don't know along those lines and i answered again i'm not going to tell you guys what i said but <laughs> i answered and then yeah, we had to walk out so that the judges would actually decide on who their runner-ups were i remember when my friend actually came out she told me bro you actually did well like you have the potential of placing queen but it's in a puppy let me let's not be too sure because the, the other girl really answered bow also but you are definitely going to place i was like really it's like yeah you are going to place cool they called us in again top five or top ten if i'm not mistaken we were on stage they called the second runner up oh so they were announcing like awards and my titles oh by the way i didn't make it for the public vote i didn't make it because yeah this is my me but anyway, that's not the case. They called the second one up. They called the first one up. Now, again, guys, this always happens to me, hey? Mixella, me, and this specific girl was a great speaker. I was like, mm-mm. But this is not fair, because at least I was supposed to place at least princess care. At least the princess title. And then... I was the next Miss Zindar. So, 2019 slash 20, basically. Okay, 2020. And yo, wow, God, but yeah, I won. This is it, Dobbs and Vault 2020. I won, guys. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh! And then I came back. Oh, by the way, the, 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 the packages were so amazing. So obviously because I won, I got an automatic entry into Miss Teenager Essay. I got amazing gifts. Um, oh yeah, I got this crown. Which crown is it? Is it this one? I think, yeah, this crown. I got this crown. Ah, it's too small for a winner. No, it wasn't this one. Okay, I think it was this one. I think, no, it was definitely this one. But yeah, I, yeah, I won, guys. And then obviously I was pushed through Miss Teen Essay automatically. I didn't have to go for auditions. I just made it. And I must say, I don't want to trash, trash talk pageants, but I it's not make sure. <laughs> I it's not make sure I find I got a sash like I made it through the final but you know what was the most confusing part like how 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 did they even allow over a hundred finalists to make it to the final of the stage how make it make sense make it make sense how how yes sis. but yeah it's cool it's cool because we got we we got um what you call this social media tasks and i remember it was the beginning of the virus covid we had social media tasks we had to complete certain tasks and our night was so great but i was just annoyed because you had to post on your social media and ugh, there was just a lot going on and anyway i didn't make i made it to the final but i didn't place i made it to the final but i didn't place not even top 20, not even, nothing, nothing. So I went home with a broken heart. I didn't, I didn't get emotional because I saw it coming, honestly. Like, over 100 contestants and you're only going to pick top 20 or top 10. Uh-uh, like, Gunini, and then Yuan, Gunini, and then Yuan. Um, and then, oh, yes. So later that year, I got nominated for the RSA rsa models awards but like for the teen category for the teen category category whatever um yeah i was nominated and i was actually surprised like oh i got nominated okay and then so people had to vote for me also 
in order for for me to actually bank the title and I won literally guys I won RSA teen queens of queens 2019 so let me just explain what this um the nominations or what 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 it was about it exactly so uh, uh, um there was a group of all the teens so maybe miss teen soweto was included miss teen dobson was included miss teen doran cobb maybe was included miss teen eldorado park you know there was just a lot of us and then there there was only one winner there had to be one winner out of all of us that's how i actually bagged the rsa teen queen rsa queens of ah rsa teen queens of queens Teen. Oh, and I also got like um a, a trophy. But yeah, I, I also got a trophy. So and I got a this is this is the crown, your corner. And yeah, I'm just gonna display here what, how how I even said my speech. I was so nervous, but I'm shaking. Okay. Um I'd like to thank God for making this day possible. Uh, to everybody who voted for me, thank you so much. To my family, thank you. And, the, and to the RSA Models Awards, thank you so much. Oh, by the way, here is the award I got. Guys, <laughs> I don't know how YouTubers do this, but. We do Melon Tembu, RSA Teen, RSA Teen, Queens of Queens. This was the, the, the award that I received with the sash and the crown. Okay, cool. So I decided to quickly enter another pageant in 2021. But at some point, I just lost interest in pageants. Because, guys, I w is, is it politics? I'm looking for another term. There's just so much politics in pageants. Like, they expect you to act a certain way because you are brand new. You are the brand ambassador like mostly groove you are not supposed to post groove content or holding bottles on social media all you need to do is this be all you need to do is be miss goody shoes be a good example to the youth and ah uh, i'm still young also i just want to live my best life like let me be i feel like that also made me lose interest in pageants but uh anyway i decided to enter miss summer soweto I decided to enter Miss Summer Soweto and honestly speaking, I wasn't happy. Benyapi. Why me no kuzam? Benyapi. But it's okay. It's, it's all about the experience any, anyway and not about actually bagging titles. So I entered the pageants and once again, I had entered with the girls who are Bafagelani Presha in terms of speaking. Like Bafagelani Presha and phew, I remember there was the teens and there was the us the 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 grown ones the teens were awesome oh my gosh we know you from instagram we know you you always winning we know we also you're also gonna win this one i'm like guys mm -mm. no please don't please don't but yeah on the final it wasn't a buzz it wasn't a journey pageant we just had to sell tickets and also attend rehearsals shall fast forward to the day of the final my granny was there oh yeah she was there including my friends and my cousins yeah i remember at that point i was just hosting in kalu costa and also it didn't align with my brand yes i took a break because it didn't align i was a host and at the same time i was a model like ugh, you wouldn't see a miss essay promoting parties or being on party posters or i don't know like going out as often you know so i decided to take a break on pageants and focus on what was bringing me so cool and then on the day of the final i made it to top 10 also i made it to top 10 by nike okay i knew i was gonna make it to top 10 <laughs> but i knew i was gonna make it to top 10 and then fast forward to the questions and my question was how do i feel about um do i think the virus united us or separated us something along those lines and then i, man I managed to answer but you're too guys and then it crowd and then one and then one but i managed to answer shem honestly it wasn't so bad until they actually started calling out the winners they called second runner up they called my number guys i really expected a first princess okay yo i expected a first princess they called me everyone was like 
even the the, the MC, <laughs> I was like, what's the least I can put that? See, like guys, they're like, huh? Like me, me, second princess, me. After bagging so much queen titles, and then I come second place. But anyway, ugh, I got the stage. I. <sighs> Make it make sense. Second princess. Guys, second princess. Mina. But ugh, it's cool. It's whatever. I got second princess. I crown your corner. No, I mixed up the crown. Was it this one? Guys, I'm not too sure, but this is so big for you. Second princess. Man, where did I get this crown? Aha! I don't know. It's between the two. It has to be this one because it's small. Second princess, you get a small crown. If you're a queen, you get the biggest crown because you're the queen. But uh, I don't know. I received Musan Masoeta 2021, second princess. How? I don't know. But I guess I deserved the title. Sharp. Fast forward later on the year, I got nominated again for the RSA Models Awards. I got nominated again for the RSA Models Awards. And ah. Uh, I was on some, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. what the hell is happening? Like, how, why am I getting nominated again? Shit, I won. Why didn't nominate her? And then I was told, no, you're actually nominated for Queens of Queens. So I had 14 Queens of Queens, and now I'm actually nominated for Queens of Queens. And I was on some, mm -mm, let me just give other people a chance. But at the same time, I'm like, no, it's a different category. Category. Yo! Oh, guys, this word. <laughs> I'm like limited. <laughs> Should I? I'm like okay. Let me just go ahead. Um, yeah. So the the, the final was in Gorif City, the theater, the lyric theater. Wa, da, 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 da. I remember I went there with a friend and my cousin as well, and they were just announcing. Oh yeah, it was actually an actual pageant, but I had I didn't enter a pageant. I was just nominated for the awards. So, well, yeah, I hope I'm making sense. Aisha, Babi is the king of kings. Bas bees, they want bas bees. At some point, yes, guys, my whole has some groove. Guys, please don't be like me. I literally left the place just to go and groove. I was losing patience and I told my friend, nah, I'm not gonna make it. I won't place. I, I won't place because I won last year, so it would be unfair of me to actually place again, you know? So let's leave. Uh, my old driver. Excuse me! Damn! Sorry guys. Now I'm receiving texts from people. I'm saying, David, you won. You're queens of queens. You're queens of queens. <laughs> You're queens of queens. You're queens of queens. I'm like, really? They're like, yeah. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I'm the seller. 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 Guys, I'm not supposed to be saying this, yes. But this is the real me. And then, yeah. Oh, Catello Guinness. Today, trade me. I won Queens of Queens. By the way, just in case you guys are think I'm scamming you, there are two different sashes. I won Queens of Queens 2021. Huh? One. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I didn't receive my crown, but it's also blue. Ta da! I won Queens of Queens and I was so happy. I was so happy. Guys, also please don't forget to nominate your favorite um influencers, models, there are different, you know, categories on which you can actually nominate a person. So don't forget, please just go on the RSA um page and then nominate your favorite model of the year, pageant best mentor best you know mo modeling schools in English is a lot please don't forget to do that and then okay this one is just like a pet finder sash this is actually from church because I'm in SDM and seven diabetes so I've achieved these um what are these called again um honors yes honors thank you so at some point I did an explorer class and then I did ranger I also did i don't know but i didn't get it but i did i completed it i'm a church dropout by the way but i'm gonna go back soon so yeah i guess that's it 
that is the end of my video and how i actually managed to bag all these titles and all these crowns all in the name of uh, <laughs> i don't know but i don't even know i feel like i was the worst brand ambassador guys Yo. but i really tried i really tried i don't know if i'll enter pad any pageant anytime soon but the year is almost over so i don't know i'll be handing over also uh, what's weird is i haven't really handed over my certain titles okay but i'll be handing over miss summer soweto i'll be handing over the rsa queen's um title also and i don't know if i'll enter a pageant i don't think i'll enter it um i'll enter any pageant hey, anymore unless it's miss sa but we'll see maybe in the next two years we'll see honestly speaking honestly speaking i just want to complete my studies and at least get a qualification yeah and, and then she could i'll enter miss essay but yeah thank you to everyone mm -mm, not thank you <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed um i'll be telling the the next video i'll be dropping is definitely a story time so thank you guys Thank you so much. Please uh, like, subscribe, and comment down below on how this video was. And bye.